Good morning. Chuck Wagon RV here. I uh, had an interesting evening yesterday. A wonderful day. Interesting. Uh, wind gust approximately, I don't know, maybe 30 miles an hour. I'm still at the same spot, but a few things have changed because of weather. Weather broke the tent last night. Um, I've salvaged it working on it all morning this morning the wind has calmed down there's no wind every once in a while the flag will fly a little bit and whip around but majority of the time it's pretty calm the uh fiberglass poles didn't hold up understandably no doubt with the kind of wind there was uh it was too windy for me to try to pull the poles and drop the tent it was too windy for me to do anything but sit in the trailer and I actually believe the trailer moved it was rough I'll tell you with the kayak up on the roof it uh, made it a little rough but I'll flip around and show you what we got now uh, we left the tent where it was but we moved the camper and we moved the truck so let me show you so here's where the truck's sinking. It's going to stay there, I believe. I'm going to walk around the truck here. Not a very big campsite for all the crap I've got. Uh, the fire pit's there. I got some firewood last night or yesterday afternoon when I came back. It was pretty windy, so I just threw it in there. But there is the trailer. Oh, glory's flying. Uh... Used to hook to the back of the truck. Used to. Was the main word we're going to use here. I did cut a little bit of screen. Taking all that excess off of it. Because it's never going to hook up to the back of a trailer again. Or a truck. So I just made it a tent. I'm making do with what I got. Uh, don't know if I can do this for uh, five months in uh, uh, Utah. Up on, uh, up on Pine uh, Valley, but there's the way the tent's going to sit. Right now, it's just a tent. It's a napier. Used to hook up to the camper, but now a tent. Not bad. Uh, I guess it could be worse. I have not had coffee this morning. I have not had breakfast this morning. I've been mainly concentrating on this. And... Uh, just wanted to show you what the end result is, but I still like where I'm at, other than I am at the highest point here. I believe it's a little higher, uh, but the wind comes through here pretty good. I've uh, been here two nights, I believe, and both nights it was really windy. Yesterday afternoon I came back from... Uh, Zion, wonderful place. Came back from Zion, a little on the windy side. Decided I couldn't cook in the tent because it was leaning pretty good. Couldn't take it down because it was leaning pretty good. So I cooked in the trailer last night's dinner. Don't like doing that. I have done it before, it's no big deal. I just don't choose to. I wanna cook in the tent. But anyways, uh, this is where we're at now, and uh, we will go forward and continue our one-year journey to see what else life has in front of me. I do like the idea of challenges, but uh, last night was a little ridiculous. Uh, it quit at midnight. Um, lasted from... I guess the day before, but it calmed down a little bit. Uh, but last night was the clincher. When I got up this morning, the tent was pretty much flat on the ground, and it was busted. So I've got to take it all apart, and when I do, I'm going to duct tape the fiberglass poles or work on finding replacements or... Uh, give up on this idea and just get a real tent. 
uh, that does not hook to the uh, camper at all. Have it two separate entities, which is fine. The way it is right now, we're going to try it out for a little while. You can see it's still crooked because of the, uh, the rods are broken. So it's not going to hold it up straight. But we're going to see what the next week or so is going to pertail with this thing. Living like this where I can get out of the camper and go into the tent without walking around outside. But we'll see what happens. Just want to let you know. And I guess we'll talk soon.